Hi everybody, it's Galactic Man Larry here again with another G.I. Joe classified series action figure review and today we have in front of us Cobra Scrap Iron and Anti-Armor Drone or Anti-Armor Drone and there you have him out of the box and all of that first let's check the package there you have the illustration looking cool in black and white and he's playing with his little Sega Game Gear there and then you have of course the little crate here where you have all the f effects and his well he comes only with one little pistol there but it says scrap iron and anti-armor drone number 74 and then of course well which should have been the first you have the box which has scrap iron there like in uh, render of course you have the anti-drone uh, the anti-armor drone you have all the accessories that come inside of the box here you have some sky striker which is in the other scale of course the original scale but uh, hey, maybe maybe one day they will release that in classified form but uh, i don't know it's those would be huge you need to have like a little castle if you want to keep up with all the vehicles and there you have actually the qr code if you want to check the little things that are showing here that we cannot even see at this size but you can scan that code maybe and check it yourself because i don't ever do that and there you have scrap iron and the drone and all the fire effects uh, and blast effects i mean and the rockets here or the missiles his little handgun, his helmet, and his little handheld uh, controller for the drone. And there you have the little handheld, uh, well, his controller, or however these things are called. Uh, there you have a little image there in red for the target, I guess. It has its two antennas. You have his little pistol here, which is, uh, I don't know, any gun like this myself. If you know some gun like this or if this is a real model please let me know in the comment section below i don't know it of course not of course but it luckily it has a little you cannot even see there it has a little peg hole so you can of course attach some fire effects so there you have it a bit too much for this pistol maybe but hey i like the uh, kind of the robocop style of fire blast for the pistol or gun whatever um, then there you have also his helmet which is quite a, a important part of the quite characteristic of this guy uh, scrap iron the stylized cobra logo like in a more like pointy or sharp uh, angles there you have some glossy paint for the visor and yeah it's a cool one uh, and there you have the rockets here for the drone laser guided with set x 04 or i mean these are quite stylized numbers or whatever they are the codes there on the rocket actually and there you have also this sort of one is like the same twice uh, you have these fire effects well blast effects these are like if you have the drone here maybe you have this blast like behind when it shoots and it's like you know the thing that comes out from the exhaust if it even has one uh, anyway and you have these blast here for when the rockets actually hit the ground i would say like and you have of course the blasts here from for when the rockets are firing out of the drone yeah again i've had this for a little while already and uh, there you can see actually just putting the rockets there the paint on the rockets kind of scrapped here on the side of the drone but hey it's to be expected maybe but yeah i mean these things of course they have thick pegs but they are thick plastic pieces and they if you keep them there for a long time let's actually do it i don't know if you can see it but the drone has their back you can see it, the bottom or the in the deep part of this uh, the head of the drone there you can see where the actual fire blasts peg there you just push them there and there you have them yeah but uh, again this one has already warped a bit and you attach the rockets by doing so and doing so as well and, and then you have like you know <laughs> i don't know i'm just trying my best here for some sound effects you have this auto blast i didn't went through that one is like the other one was just a little bit shorter nice heavy 
rubbery plastic for the effects and these effects are actually cool i mean these two are the coolest of the bunch in this packaging these also are cool but uh to me these are the most elaborate and the more like interesting of the bunch anyway the drone says there uh piezoelectric piezoelectric whatever sn 09041972000 cobra and it's of course mars industries or mars enterprises i don't remember you have the back of the ferrari here and you have the cobra the cobra logo in gunmetal gray some metallic red for the backlights of the drone it really looks like a ferrari thing uh, the threads are just a different plastic feels a bit rubbery maybe like hard rubbery or maybe it's just you know it's kind of hard slightly rubbery plastic but they don't roll uh, the black is another plastic and these are painted the like coppery gunmetal plates here for the yeah for these pieces here there you can see some red here on the upper part of the threads yeah, both uh, threads were together um, and there you have anti-tank m002 and this has a little chimney here maybe it's an antenna it has the there you can see like the the face of the drone like the targeting system i guess as well as this here with some green paint some gun metal some little gold point and a green one anyway it's a really cool looking drone it feels okay but of course could break that's what i want trying to say i mean everything can break of course but uh just be careful how you i mean that you never let these things fall from a high altitude and here you have finally scrap iron and look at that face i mean this guy has been through some yeah accidents maybe self-provoked <laughs> because this guy is playing with fire well with rockets and there you can see i mean that look at that eye look at this auto eye which is a bit like can he still see through that eye or is that actually i don't know if we can see if he has an actual cobra logo on that eye or i don't know i have never checked any review of this guy so i'm discovering it for myself i don't know what he has in that eye i cannot see from uh, through the camera we'll check it later i'll check it later but just look at that face and look at the burnt side i mean it's all like cauterized or all like yeah yeah something exploded at the side of his face and it looks uh, nasty you know but uh, yeah i mean he's the the rocket guy and yeah he has a couple of scars here at the other side and of course in front of the face i mean this guy went through some experiences there there you can see the cobra log on his shoulder only there and there you i mean i think his body is a uh, sculpt so far exclusive for him i don't know if these arms were used for they were used for the night force uh, wolf spider i have to check that later anyway his vest is unique to him as of now at least uh, look at those grenades and these pouches you have some like dark coppery buckles here for the belt and these straps here uh, he has of course a holster where the gun can just slide in and as you saw at the beginning of the video the the actual i mean he can nicely hold his little gun and for the helmet you just do like this uh, yeah i mean it's cold now again so i have to be careful not to damage the plastic but there you have it fits nicely but uh, yeah if you push it too far it just keeps going so you decide how high you want to have it i'm a bit of a control freak so i want to have it very well placed and this thing you just only like slide it there and it will fall down very easily so you just um yeah just be aware of that but in any case there you have the guy his boots were also unique to him when he was released but i'm seeing right now it's the same that the uh, wolf spider uses uh, we'll check if the legs as well maybe the whole body was reused for that other guy already but anyway it was new when this guy came out and unique to him and um, now articulation wise he can look up that far is not much but a 
even if you i mean that's not because of the helmet that's the way the head is sculpted and the pegs the clearances and all of that he has a nice amount of tilt to the sides i mean the helmet tilts of course itself floats a bit on the head but anyway actually let's just yeah and there you have he can look up that far i mean it could have the neck goes goes really inside of the head so that maybe you could cut some plastic from the back of the head that wouldn't look that nice or maybe you can give some more clearance in the neck and the upper and the inside part of the head so that the ball has more the peg for the balls <laughs> that sounds nasty has some more um, range of movement you know anyway there you can see he has this tilting can turn of course all the way around if you need that but that wouldn't be that natural the head the neck also turns inside of the upper body the arms can go all the way around they can lift up to we'll see how far i mean this one can lift up so far and this one is not giving as much but anyway well over 90 degrees has also a butterfly joint this maybe it's a bit frozen now but has a little bit of range forward and a little bit uh, backwards not like I mean, could be better, but it's something. It will help for some tiny adjustments. The biceps are there and can turn, I guess, all the way around. Maybe not. I mean, it, the sculpt is a bit tight. This arm moves a little freer. It can go all the way around. There right? you have the double jointed elbows that can bend really nicely, almost all the way. I think that's more than enough, or just enough at least. Uh, the hands can turn around, this one goes in and out, has a horizontal swivel, it's a bit cold, and this one can go up and down, but uh, actually these hands go quite into the sleeve, so you don't have a lot of clearance, but it can do the vertical swiveling there. He has an up crunch that it's quite hindered because the vest and the belt just go, just right away clash into each other but he of course has a crunch maybe you can use it i it's there you know but he at least has some back and forward with the ball waist i mean the ball at the waist and he has some tilt to the sides and he can also turn around this one doesn't feel like i'm snapping anything of course oval shape so it will meet some resist and some friction there so don't force it but uh, this one feels like at least the peg the ratcheted peg is uh, easy to move sometimes they feel i'm feeling like i'm gonna snap the figure so but uh, this one feels nice uh, anyway if you remove the gun i mean if you keep the gun it will get in the way of the hip movement but if you remove it you can do the full splits i mean the holster also gets in the way it's full splits you know these guys the the another spider-man spider joe you know i mean these guys just do the better splits than the spider-man figures for whatever reason um unjustifiable <laughs> in my opinion and there you have the legs can lift i mean great for these ones bad for spider-man figures um they can lift slightly over 90 with help of the you know the drop down thing that i don't love all the time uh, there you have the thigh cut he very well hidden through the straps here uh, the knee can bend oh these knees are very cold right now yes these knees are super tight and it's winter now i won't do the hot water thing again right now but uh, if you want to watch my wolf spider video and jump to the articulation section uh, I guess they that he can bend all the way. I mean, he has quite the yeah the deep cut there. So uh, I mean, the upper part alone can go 90 degrees, and the other one, I guess, it can go all the way. But it's super stiff, and I don't want to go berserk and maybe break it. Or you know, it's really, really like the anyway. Uh, and the boots can turn all the way around, and the feet can go backwards that far and can go forwards that far and it has a nice uh, not the nicest looking but a very useful ankle rocker yeah not the best one but it's it will help you know and there you have the gi joe classified series cobra scrap iron and his 
anti-tank drone next to Sarana, a Cobra Range Viper, a Cobra Viper and Pandora from Valiverse. Next to Marvel Legends Corsair, Black Widow, Shadow Tracker and Snake Eyes. And next to the Baroness, Destro, Cobra Commander and Cover Girl. And that's it for this review. I think this Scrap Iron plus his drone are a great addition for the collection or to the collection. Uh, if you're keeping this with the rockets coming out with the, you know, with the f effects, your pegs here will at some point like bend downwards as well as the fire the the you know the launch effects here they will bend you know warp whatever it's called uh, so you decide for yourself for now i'm just gonna do like this the most like ready for action but not shooting yet because yeah i get a bit annoyed when i see these things all warped but hey, it's plastic you know it will bend to the loss of the physics in any case there you have these guys looking great a scrap iron is a great addition a cool looking figure please leave a like share comment subscribe and all of that good stuff take care and i will see you in the next one ciao Ta -ta -ta.